Vermont plans to get more than $2 billion from the American Rescue Plan. Members of the Scott administration say about half will be used to stimulate the economy and strengthen Vermont's rural communities. Local 44's Jolie Sherman has more on the recovery funds. Through the American Rescue Plan Act, Vermont received a billion dollars to bounce back from the pandemic. The Scott administration has four years to spend these one-time funds, which cabinet members say will give them the time to make significant investments. This is what we call the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to strengthen our economy and our communities. Cabinet members shared their proposed budgets for broadband, business growth, housing, climate change, and water and sewer infrastructure. The largest amount of money right now goes to broadband at more than $250 million. This spend would give access to high-speed broadband to 52,759 addresses. That's tens of thousands of homes that don't have high-speed connectivity at this time. The second highest budget is housing. As a result of the pandemic, over 2,000 Vermont households are still living in motels and homeless shelters and middle-income families have been priced out of home ownership in Vermont. Housing Commissioner Josh Hanford proposed spending almost $250 million to create 5,000 more housing units by 2024 and reduce reliance on the state's current emergency housing program. At the same time, the Vermont Climate Council is in the throes of working to develop a climate action plan. Natural Resources Secretary Julie Moore says she'd like to allocate a total of $200 million to address climate change, half of which will implement the state's climate action plan at the end of this year. Administration Secretary Young says these aren't emergency dollars, but recovery dollars, money the legislature needs to approve first. First, we really have to work out, um, you know, the, what are we going to spend this on? What do we agree is important? What do we agree is going to make a difference to the future of Vermont? She says these proposals are expected to be approved this year, but the money will become available over the next four years. Jodley Sherman, Local 44 News.